At Cellosphere 2022, I unveiled a step change in process mining. I think it's the biggest development of process mining in many years. It is called object-centric process mining, and today I'm going to explain what it is and why it matters. Consider your sales department. Traditionally, process mining captures what happens here by tracking the digital footprint of documents like your sales orders. But sales does not live in a vacuum. You also have procurement, production, warehousing, distribution and finance all working together. And each of these departments works with different objects. For example, finance will work with invoices, production with production orders and distribution with shipments. As you all know, the relationship between these objects are rarely simple. For example, we may have a customer submit a sales order for four items on the same day. One item is in stock and the other three need to be manufactured, for which two production orders are created. The first item which is in stock is then packaged and shipped on its own. A few days later, after the production orders are complete, the three remaining items are packaged and shipped together. The customer is then sent one invoice via email. In this simple real-world example, we see many-to-many -many relationships between objects. We saw one sales order with four items, three production orders, two shipments and one invoice. Traditionally, we focused on each of these different objects in isolation. That is, we created an event log for items, an event log for production orders and an event log for packages. However, as I explained, real-world processes involve multiple objects. Therefore, Salonis has reinvented process mining and is the first technology provider to fully embrace object-centric process mining. Using object-centric process mining, we can find and fix inefficiencies with greater power and simplicity than ever before. This allows us to visualize, analyze and improve processes much closer to reality. By embracing objects, it becomes much easier for us to connect them together, to see across departments and create new perspectives. Simply put, we are moving from a two-dimensional static view of our processes and organizations to a three-dimensional dynamic view. This added perspective allows us to look at processes from any angle, and there is no need to create new event logs for different questions. This will allow us to answer questions like how can we better align sales and production to reduce the number of shipments? And how can we reduce delayed shipments by avoiding peak loads in production? I believe this will be one of the largest driver of business performance in the coming years. Thank you for watching this video and make sure to look out for more content about object-centric process mining.